Midway, 0 for 2. Williams a 3 for an 11-0 lead. Yes, and where was this shooting the other night when in one section of the game they went 1 of 17 in the loss to Marshall? Hard to figure that out sometimes. Well, you'll take it if you're EKU, an 11-0 lead, and a good wraparound by Sims miss. They're 0 for 3. EKU opens 4 for 4, 3 for 3 on threes, and another big spurt. More about spurts here in a second. Blanton back to Williams. Wing right three, good extra share. First miss of the night belongs to Jansen Williams. And now the Eagles are running. Good Euro through the lane. Get it off to the layup man. And Evans in the break off a of curdle miss. And that stops the 11-0 run. And Eastern Kentucky in transition to Williams in the basket. Good find by Moreno. Williams did a good job running the floor. Went right straight to the rim. And Michael Moreno found him for easy layup. And a timeout, or is it just no stepping on the sidelines against the intense EKU pressure at half court? A.W. Hamilton, as you see, a player from his same high school, Scott County, bring it in, and Moreno. Hamilton in year four has a record well above 500 here at 56 and 48, nearing 300 wins all time as Blanton dribbling through the lane, lost it, stolen. Here comes Miller, got around a defender, Rob, missed the layup, Rob rebound. Rob three minutes in with his team up 13-2, picks up the dribble, baseline right, Blanton turns open from 10, short arms it. Moreno tips the rebound to himself, goes low to Williams, got too far underneath, missed it, got his own rebound off Blanton's deflection, lost it again to Moreno, extra share Beverly, load, fire, bullseye, Beverly. Great ball movement by EKU so Here. far early in this game. 16-2 run to begin the ball game. EKU 23% shooting the last two games against Marshall and USC when they needed it most. Tonight, they wouldn't need a good shooting night, but they've had it early as they have opened six of nine and four of six from deep. This is Miller. Miller drives around Blanton, squares, misses from 10. Rebound by Blanton. Eyes up, headband on. Little give to... Williams contact and a whistle foul called on Isaiah Sims. That's a well-known name in the state of Kentucky when it comes to hoops, Sims. Yeah, it sure is. His father, Alvis, Alvin, was a uh, great player at Paris High School, went on and played under Denny Crum at the University of Louisville. I wouldn't be surprised if he's in the crowd somewhere tonight. Timeout on the court, 16-12, Eastern Kentucky early, less than four minutes in on ESPN+. Plus. $1.45. I'm sorry? Oh, yeah, for the cookie. The books are free. For everybody? For all undergraduate students. We call it EKU Book Smart. Let's make that two cookies. On campus, online, delivery or pickup at EKU. The books are on us. Hey, honey, what are you looking at? Unbelievable. I don't even know why I'm still here. Excuse me? It's like there's not even any interest anymore. What? We could be getting great rates on a home loan from Geneva Financial. Look. Oh, wow. Thinking about moving? Visit us online today. Get rates from the high twos from Geneva Financial. Greg Stoudemire, Doug Sally back in Richmond, Kentucky, where Easter Kentucky on four of five three-point shooting, six of nine overall is bolted out to a 16-2 lead. Jansen Williams with two tosses here, and if this first one goes, that's a 15 plus 15 point spurt at 17 to two, and it's the seventh time this year Eastern Kentucky has done that. They opened with an 11-0 start, and it's the ninth time they have scored double figures without an opponent scoring a point. He got them both, and it's 18-2 Eastern Kentucky. Eastern in their 
man-to-man -man press, which is their uh, M.O. And Jamaro Brown is coming off a 23-point game in. Miller dropped it as they got it across the court in front of the Eastern bench. Got it off to his teammate Travis. His three no good. And Brown shoved off for the rebound. Got caught right in front of the official with his hand in the defensive rebounding cookie jar. So on Jamaru Brown, his first. Brown had been in a slump of late, late, in front of the Eastern getting bench. Starts, got it off to his teammate tonight. Travis. His three no good. Six, and Brown game, shoved off the for the rebound. His engine on the got inbounds. They got loose. Three Curdles challenged it. Brown got the rebound. Williams and Rob have been good here against the smaller Eagles early. 18-2, Eastern Kentucky. Good low post pass to Williams off the wing by Moreno. Well, they ran some roll action on the weak side, and Williams cut right to the basket. Great cut by Williams and a great find by Moreno. Nine already by Williams. Last three games, he had been 6 of 18 from three. Good wraparound run to the basket. It dances on the rim twice and falls for Memphis. Junior Rico Tate. 20 to four now, make it 23 to four as Brown hits a wing three. I think we're gonna have a lot of points tonight. Doug, what do you think? It looks that way. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't break the century mark. Eastern Kentucky, five of six. They've broken the century mark eight times at A.W. Hamilton. Rico Tate. Four years as the head coach. 20 to four, four now, make it 20. Side run at a bad pass, leaving his feet. Travis, stolen Beverly. Brown, back up three ball, missed it. Rebound Moreno, one dribble, pump fake. Got it out right wing, Beverly. Collect, shoot, boom, Beverly. And inside out, fine right there. Open threes are usually there when you get an offensive rebound and kick out. 26 to four as EKU has put Joe Kropinski's team in a world of hurt here. Good drive to the goal and a charge. It was a nice charge there, drive to the goal by Travis, but he didn't have any breaks, Doug. Yeah, Williams did a good job. He read that play early, got set up and didn't even try to go for the block shot. He was in position. He knew he had the charge right there it is. Michael Moreno leaves the court. In for him will be um, Eastern Kentucky's Richard Crookshank. Now Kurt Lewis has come in as well. Fake. Got it out Beverly. right wing. So Beverly collects. Crookshank in for Boom. Beverly and Lewis in for Moreno right to get there. their positions oh. right. 26-4. Eastern Kentucky out to an 11-0 lead. Led by as many as 22 right now. Here's Lewis at three right into the ball game, and he missed. Long kicking rebound, pulled down by Sims. Isaiah Sims got around Williams and then stripped away. Good defense play there. Going to call it a jump ball. If I said Sims, I meant Miller there. They have brought in Corey Gardner from Owensboro. Former Red Devil rebound, Owensboro pulled down by School. Sims. There's Isaiah Sims. Got around Williams and then stripped away. Good Williams defense play there. there Got to call it a jump ball. On the way up. I don't think they called they a foul. Call called it. A no, they called a jump ball signal. Okay. Looked like all ball to me. Yo-yoing the dribble. Evans finding one from 16. Peach basket. Nice job there. Go over the defense. Deep right corner. Rob fakes the three. 26-6. Eastern Kentucky. Bad pass. Stole it. Here comes Evans. Evans up to the new player in Gardner. Shot no good. Balligan's come in for EKU and failed to get the rebound right at his feet. So EKU waiting to bring Blanton back in. Four guys have come off the bench here. 26-6, Eastern Kentucky. Good look at a three by Miller. Good. In a world of hurt here. Of good drive to the goal. To the Eagles as Miller gets their first three. Five in a row by Midway. 26-9, EKU, biggest lead, 22. Crookshank over to Lewis, drives in, uses the shoulder, puts it up, no, draws the foul. See which player they're going to call it on. It's going to be an Isaiah Sims out of East Moline, Illinois. You talked about his dad. So we went to break being Alvin Sims, who played at Louisville from 93 to 97, as we see the Lewis drive. And the foul as Sims tried to help Gardner into the lane there. Well, Kurt Lewis so much more physical than the uh, midway player there, just able to turn his shoulders around the defense and get in there and get his shot off. Lewis didn't score last game at Marshall in the game here against Marshall. Snapped a 35-game streak of scoring points. But he's in the scorebook here as Sims leaves. You see Isaiah Sims, and you know he's the son of Alvin, don't you? Oh, yeah. Just look right at him. <laughs> it looks just like him. Here's one more for Kurt Lewis. He played at the same high school as 
The man wearing zero and blue, Raekwon Evans of Midway. Lewis got them both. His first two of the night, 28-9, Eastern Kentucky. The biggest lead has been at 22. They got out to an 11-0 lead. And that big run of 26-4. And EKU got in the middle of the position, and they called a foul there. Yeah, you got to allow the offensive player his vertical space, and when he pivoted, the Eastern player went right into him there. That 26-4 run plus 20, the fifth time EKU's been on a scoring run that gave them a net of 20 points or more advantage. Good pass deflection just left of us by Kurt Lewis deflecting the pass out of bounds. Well, they ran a little flare screen there. Balligan and Kurt Lewis did a good job communicating. Lewis able to get his hand on that. Four of ten guys on the court have white headbands on right now. Three Kirtles. One midway guy. We give you everything, Doug. Here's a 15-footer. Shot no good by Rico Tate. Rebound Blanton. Out to Brown. Got collected at half court on a body bump by Donnie Miller from Newport, Kentucky. 28-9 EKU down to 12:42 in the first half. EKU ran out on a 5 of 6 beginning to this ballgame. They've hit one of their last three. They're at 6 of 9 now from three. Lewis. Triggering the inbounds right here. He had something up his sleeve. Didn't want Blanton to throw it in. He's he's the man right there. Into Balligan from Crookshank. Hand back to Blanton. Alley oop down low to Balligan. Lost it, but he got it back. And nobody there in the 27th career dunk for Tariq Balligan. Born in Italy. Grew up in London, England. 30 to 9. EKU by 21. The rush hour traffic. Right wing to Miller. And tries to go for a second. 3 0. No. Jamaro Brown rebound. Scooting down court, tipped away, somehow got it back. Flip it left corner, Crookshank way long. Didn't even hit the rim and leaking out in front is Tate for the layup that goes in despite Brown's attempt to block it four by Tate. Well, you had your point guard shooting out of the corner right there and sometimes you lose floor balance. No one back for Eastern right there. 30 to nine beginning, it's 30. And here's a three straight away, no good. Lewis, good hustle to the rebound, and back to the goal, and he missed the chippy. Throw over the defense, is it too far? Yes, falling down is Ridge Hall from New Pekin, Indiana, who had come into the game. We have a timeout at the 11.40 mark. And EKU rolling against Midway out of the NAIA, 30-11 to 11 on ESPN+. Plus. The ancient Greeks had four words for love. The most admirable is called agape. Love as an action. For 175 years, New York Life has been helping people act okay. on their love. So they can look back or look ahead and say, we got it right. We did good. I asked the best modern day explorers, take me to the ends of the earth. And they said, we can go further than that. This is a bucket list moment. What is that? Well, ready? Yes, sir. I almost guarantee you you're gonna survive. <laughs> Back before. Before track, I know. Experience amazing. See if Doug Sally can get this. Best stat on the stat sheet for the team leading 30 to 11 Eastern Kentucky. You got it yet, Doug? 7-0 uh, bench points. No, I'm going to go this one, and I know coaches love it. You're an old on 10 made shots. Oh, yeah. I love it. 10 of 18, 6 of 10 from 3, began 5 of 6, 4 of 4 from the line, plus 7 to rebounding. They got clubbed in rebounding by 18 and a half on average the last two games. Of course, it was... Marshall, who plays a big one at Ohio tonight, then USC number 10 in the country. Brown hunting a shot, 
17-footer, no good. Schwab to try to get a foul, didn't get it. Lewis the rebound, now Crookshank penetrates. Rises with a right hand, no, but a follow tip by Brown, and it won't go. He goes down, so it's five on four. Coming the other way, Evans. Evans gives it off to Miller. Miller, good, fall away, 13-footer, wouldn't go. Lewis the rebound. Lewis has been challenged to rebound better, and he has tonight. Rush hour traffic doesn't bother him, but he missed the one at the goal. That's two by Lewis. Lewis usually so good at finishing, and this year he has just not been able to finish shot after shot right at the rim. Yeah, you just keep waiting for him to break out with a game that uh, is more reminiscent of what he did last year, and uh, he's right on the cusp of it, I have a feeling. 32-11 EKU on the inbounds. Brown has to run it down. A little body bump there by Corey Gardner. Eastern Kentucky has four assists already by Moreno. He's on the bench. Brown a three. Shot no good. So after we talk about 10 assists on 11 shots made, or maybe it was 9 out of 10, EKU kind of going uh, hunting for shots there in the last couple of possessions. Now, nice steal by Brown. He's coming off a career equaling six on a pretty bounce to Blanton. Just as we say, they're not sharing. They share the leather. Three good passes there, and the Colonels get the second Balligan dunk of the night. Oh, I love that find by Blanton. Off a steal by Brown and a bad pass. Brown got in the lane and Crookshank the steal. Changing and dribble for the left-hander. Baseline to Blanton. Nice find by Lewis on the left wing. No good. Balligan volleyballs the ball to the court. Run down by Blanton. EKU's gone a little cold from deep, and we got a whistle away from the ball and a hold down low on Evans trying to keep Balligan from low post position with 10 and a tick left in the first half. 32 and 11 Eastern Kentucky, but just 6 of 12 from three. After a 5 of 6 start, they're one of their last six. Balligan, Brown, Lewis, Crookshank in. Moreno, Rob, Williams, Beverly, starters return. EKU still playing, medical DQ tonight, on the bench with the team, but not yet in action. Still waiting for Iron Bennett, the Marshall transfer, 6'10", 322. Wheel a pass out right wing to Williams, collect and miss a three, one of their last seven. So a hot start and a cold since then Effort by the EKU shooters, one of seven. Circling the wagons to the head of the key, Travis trying to pass it inside, the ball deflected by a Kirtle. Right now on the court, Miller, their leading scorer in the year with just three. Evans stays on the court, so does another starter, Travis and Sims. New player in is Nick Keaton from Paintsville, Kentucky. Pass deflected, but it got through traffic to Miller, left flat. Rob goes down, no harm, no foul. They just bounce up top to Gardner. Gardner wheeling a tough 15-footer, front rim no. Fifth rebound of the night, or make it the uh, second rebound of the night from Moreno, he has four assists. Now Rob, 32-11, backdoor cut, Blanton into the lane, knifing from 13, no. Collects his own miss by Moreno right wing, who opened the game with a three, he missed. And EKU now one of their last eight. After beginning, five of six from deep. Stay 32 to 11. Foul line Evans and inside it misses. They are now five of 18 tonight. EKU 11 to 28. Below 40%. Williams will try to lift the lid. He's way off to the right. Slaps his hands together. Running count on these misses here. EKU went one of 17 in a spell there after a two of three start against Marshall. Part of the reason they got beat. So both teams stuck on their numbers. 32-11 EKU. To the foul line, nothing there. Miller finds a teammate in Keaton. Got another teammate in the lane. Evans turns from 10, no good. They are now 5 of 19 from the field. Moreno passes up with left wing three to Rob at a corner. Down low to Blanton using the shoulder. Turning missing, but he drew the foul on Travis and will go to the line with 8.15 to go in the first half. It's been dominated from the start by Eastern Kentucky. Well, Blanton knew he had a size advantage right there. Kind of took his time, got into the paint, got a little body bump to ward the defense off, and then went to the rim, got fouled. It's one thing that if Eastern Kentucky can get more consistent from three is you have a good look at Tay-Tay Blanton, whose older brother, Delvin Rowe, was a 
five-star coming out of the same high school. St. Edward up in the Cleveland area. And then Delvin Rowe had those bad knees, had a big knee surgery. He's now an actor out on the West Coast, but he was on that Michigan State team that is a national runner-up to North Carolina 2009. Blanton misses the first foul shot of Kirtle is missed tonight. One more for Tay-Tay. And this one good for Blanton, his first point of the night. 33-11, EKU equals its biggest lead at 22. Both teams cold shooting of late. Full court pressure with two to get it across, and they do with a half second to spare. Right wing, three, good by Miller. He's hit a pair. Good looking stroke by him. 33-14, EKU. Beverly to Blanton. Blanton curls around the foul circle. Pocket pick by Miller. Coming the other way, Beverly gets back and he fouls. And it'll be an and one for Miller. He pickpocketed Blanton cleanly there, and he has eight of his team's 14 as we take a break. With a foul shot coming for the Eagles, down by 19 here on ESPN+. Plus. You can be healthy. You can eat right. You can even have good genes. But with cancer, there may be other risk factors you should know. So take an online assessment from Baptist Health, which can tell you your risk, lead to early detection, or simply peace of mind. It's world-class care even before you need it. Whoa, 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 before you do that, where's the gas line? And where's your wallet? Because you hit a gas line and it's going to cost you. Not to mention that it's also very dangerous. Okay, where's your phone? Good. Now call 811 before you dig. One call, and you'll know where to dig every time. So, no problems, no fine. And, oh, it's the law. So, if I buy this today, I get free service for life? Uh, something like that. Congratulations. Thanks. What, what is this? Oh, it's uh, standard. It's in the contract. So, I get all this for free? Yeah, something like that. I trust you too. You can keep the pen. <laughs> Everything okay? I'm just looking for the string. <laughs> the books are 100% free. No strings attached. All the books an undergraduate will need, all free. Thirty-three, sixteen, in favor of Eastern Kentucky. Raced out an 11-0 lead, built a 26-4, but they have gone on a cold shooting spree here. And the second 5-0 run by Midway, and it has been fueled both times by Miller. Miller completes the and one for a 6-0 run. It was 33-11. It's 33-17 now. Moreno, Beverly, and here's Moreno's pass deflected away. Another turnover. Bit a bad stretch for Eastern Kentucky. Charge there. Oh, they called a blocking foul on Rob. He was backing up. I thought it was going to go the other way because Evans used the, the elbow to knock off and play. Another over turnover. And another Bit a bad stretch for Eastern Kentucky. Charge there. Oh, they called a blocking foul a shot on Rob. They're going to say no shot. <laughs> Foul on the floor, but I'm like you. I thought Rob was in defensive guarding position when the uh, contact occurred. I'm going to get a look at that here. It'll be midway on a 6 0 run here. Get it down within 16, and Moore's got the hot hand. Shoots over Rob, but couldn't get that one to go. Told you he takes a lot of shots. 17 a ball game, and he's put him up tonight. Miller, I should say, not Moore. He's 3 of 8 from the field. Miller. Good screen by Williams. Beverly penetrates. Find Moreno back to Beverly. Beginning to share the ball again after a Spell where they didn't here. Brown crossover dribble, going to the elbow, sliding stop, back to Beverly, catch, shoot, hit, off the assist. You start assisting, and the buck could start falling again. They had been one of their last nine from three. Here's a steal by Moreno. Two on two, Moreno to the cup, 
and with the left hand lays it in and a quick 5-0 run for Eastern Kentucky. Beverly's hit three threes tonight and a near steal by Ben. They throw over the defense to Fort Court to Miller. Another three splashed by Miller and he already is at 11 points. You can see why he scored 30 in a game twice this year. He's got a nice looking stroke and very offensive minded. 38-20 EKU Williams. Williams one hands it to Brown. Brown slides to the top half of the foul circle. Give and go to Williams. Reverses as he was a little out of kilter. Missed it, but they saved it in. And Brown drops the three in his second of the night. Should have had an assist on that play. Williams didn't finish the layup, but he ended up getting rewarded anyway. Wide open three. Pair of threes tonight by Brown. Three by Beverly. Left corner. Set the toes behind the line. Evans hits it. Ray Quan Evans has five, same high school as Kurt Lewis, who's currently sitting on the EKU bench, now moving up to center court to check in. Looks like Van Hook may as well, if I'm reading the number right, for Midway. 41-23 EKU, Beverly leaning in from 12, no. Moreno the rebound, Moreno surveying off to Beverly. Already five assists, four rebounds for Moreno. Four rebounds, Rob, three each, Brown and Lewis. Brown from 25, welcome to the NBA, shot no good. Rebound glances off Williams, here come the Eagles running. Brown challenges, doesn't matter, as 11 and Blue scores. And we're getting a flop warning the other way. And so the basket by Rico Tate. Tate has six, Miller has 11, and Evans has five. One player that's in that triumvirate of scoring double figures. Ricardo Travis has not scored tonight. Lewis just in for Moreno just in. And the coach, Joe Kropinski, has taken Travis out of the game. 41-25 EKU Williams, another look at a three, and it's good from straight away, and that's a dozen for Williams. 45th career double-figure game of his career, 137 games. Graduate student at Eastern after playing at Marshall for four years, plus a red shirt. Underneath five minutes, first half. 44-25, home team, shot no, foul, block inside the restricted area on Beverly. A little bit late rotating right there. Williams came out on a closeout, got beat off the dribble. 44-25, home team, shot no, foul, block inside the restricted uh, area the on Beverly. Court. That was one that maybe you just late ignored, rotating, but they right. didn't. So to the line for two tosses will be Raekwon Evans, played at Valley High School, River State Conference, preseason all-conference. This is a team that in this 14-team NAIA league used to be known as Kentucky Intercollegiate Conference, but it now has teams from a bunch of states in it. Kentucky, West Virginia, Indiana, Ohio, and Pennsylvania, five different states. Well, they made they, a good account of themselves there since the early numbers were run. So what we were saying, uh, they have two players on the 10-team all-conference preseason team. Not bad for a conference with 14 teams. Brown lost the dribble. That handle of Brown lets him down at times and did their time. Good job getting back defensively. Challenging shot in the break off his turnover, and he was able to interrupt it. The shot no good. Here comes Lewis the other way, and he dropped the dribble out of bounds. Tell you the thing, probably if you're a huge Eastern Kentucky fan that may drive you the most crazy this year is shots missed near the rim and just drop dribbles into turnovers. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Kurt just got his uh, mind ahead of his, of his uh, actions there. Lewis makes a steal. Got it out to Beverly, and he'll drop in a three. Good hustle there by Lewis to turn the other team over. And Beverly with a good shooting night. He's hit four as Braxton Beverly is a perfect four for four tonight. Braxton Beverly got his hand on that, too. He's really showing some signs of breaking out of a shooting slump tonight, isn't he, Greg? 3.58 in the first half, 47-27 Eastern Kentucky. We can't help you perfect your pie crust or bake the world's greatest banana bread, but we can help you find the sweet spot between your everyday expenses and your retirement goals. With our guidance and insights, we'll help you put together a recipe for the retirement you want. At T. Rowe Price, we know retirement, not baking. Explore your options with our financial consultants today at tropeprice.com.
Vivid Seats, your ticket to more tickets. So tell your friends you'll buy because every 10 tickets earns your reward credit for next time. Earn rewards with every purchase. Vivid Seats. Life happens live. Shop Target deals now. Save $20 when you spend $100 on select toys. Just get your offer with Target Circle. This week only at Target. This is your home. This is your family room slash gym. The guest bedroom slash music studio. The day bed slash dog bed. The living room slash yoga shanti slash regional office. How did you guys do it? slash classroom and this is the basement slash panic room maybe what your family needs is a vacation home slash vacation home find yours on the verbo app it has been feast or famine tonight for eastern kentucky from three point distance they began five of six then hit one of their next nine now they've hit four in a row. And it seems like when they share the ball to threes and they get clean looks, better than hunting for a three on your own dribble, Doug, is what I've seen. So yeah, I, I completely agree. And they've done a good job moving the ball uh, out of their uh, patterned offense and, and in transition. Sometimes Forced. they've just break, broke off their uh, patterns, though. Force nine turnovers. This drive shot no good by Evans. Rebound by Lewis and the other way Blanton or Brown couldn't complete. And it'll be out of bounds to Eastern Kentucky. Good hustle there. And Lewis has done a good job on the boards tonight. Moreno leads with five. Beverly, no, let's go back to Blanton has five. Moreno has five. Rob has five and Lewis has four. It's Moreno with five assists. Beverly and Blanton with three. Crookshanks come back in, in to Rob, and he'll hit a corner three. So Eastern Kentucky now 11 of 21 on threes and lead at 50-27. And that was not an easy shot. Kind of falling away a little bit out of that corner. He likes that fall away three. The other way, guy that can shoot him, Miller, but this right wing three no good. Rob the rebound, 50-27 EKU. Biggest lead, Lewis to add to it, and he does. 12 of 22 from three. EKU's record is 20 against Tennessee Martin back in 2019, a school record. Inside, trapped as Keaton trying to find an opening, couldn't roll it out to Tate. Now Evans and Brown went for the steal and knocked him down. Second foul on Brown tonight. Brown. Six fouls on Midway, six on EKU, Doug. Brown really aggressive defensively. He looks for any opportunity to get his hands in there and be active and He's got a little piece of Evans right there on that play. First time in, Alex Hofer, former Seymour, Indiana player. Seymour Owls. Know who's from Seymour, Indiana? Think Music. John Cougar so Mellon. I was just getting ready to say that. I swear I was. <laughs> this isn't Andy Griffith trivia. You didn't have that one. Uh, I'd have been a little bit better off if I'd heard an Andy question. 53 27 EKU by a game high 26. Bolted out to an 11 0 lead and then 26 4. Out on the baseline, working nothing there. Rob saw that pass but couldn't get there. And they found their open shooter and Evans on the elbow left good. And Evans now up to nine. Evans nine, Miller 11. We told you they're their top scorers at 18 and 22 a game. So 40 of their team's 80 plus. Nice over the ear pass by Crookshank out to Blanton. And he missed. And the defensive rebound comes down to Tate. Tate comes up the near side to the trailer. This is Van Hook who checked in a bit ago. Will Van Hook, West Palm Beach, Florida. A little shove off there, getting away with it. Evans, and he got a pass to him right in front of the official. And he just shoved a colonel and then found the opening and put it in. Unguarded Lewis, wing three, way off. Rebound pulled down Van Hook. After Evans upped his total to double figures. Here is Tate. Tate, left side to Evans. He'll try it again and hit it again. Got some shooters, don't they? They sure do. He gave a little jab step right there to Balligan. Balligan kind of backed off just enough to give him space to get that off. 7-0 run. They've had many runs at 5, 6, and 7 tonight. Crookshank, minute 30 in the first half. Low to Balligan, and he's dunked for the third time on the Crookshank dime, and he'll have a penny at the foul line. 
after that is Blanton has scored, or make it Balligan has scored six. They've all come on dunks here, Doug. Yeah, what I really like about Crookshank there, after he beat his man, he pulled into the paint and played off of two feet, didn't risk a charge, made a nice little bounce pass to Balligan inside for the dunk. Five of 15 starts since then. I think they were 5 of 18 at one time, and they're 8 of their last 13, and Balligan misses the foul shot. Balligan became a good foul shooter last year for the line, but this year 12 of 23, nearing the 50% line. 55-34 Eastern Kentucky, nearing the end of the first half with a minute 15 to go. Hand in the face, 12-footer good by Raekwon Evans, 16 for Evans. He's been over 24 times this year, and he's headed that way again tonight. Here's Balligan, top of the foul circle from 17, no good. Blanton skies for the rebound, but it was tipped out of bounds by him as he left his feet a little early and couldn't control the ball. So yes. Eastern Kentucky jumped out to the 22-point lead early, but it's only 19 now. Played even since then, Doug. Yeah, they've done a good job, really got the uh, their momentum going, maybe a little confidence has been built now. There have been high volume scores. Tate's added six. Just three players have scored and in transition, this time a turnover. They've been turned over now 10 times and a points off turnovers. As Eastern Kentucky looks to add to that, they have a 13 to six lead. 43 seconds, first half. Here comes Crookshank. First time in tonight, Deshaun Jackson, the freshman from Lexington. On a bounce to him. Jackson back over to Blanton. Blanton driving in line, getting loose. Nothing there to Lewis. Eight to shoot. Lewis penetrates. Fall away 15-footer. Air balls it. Saved in Crookshank. Back to Blanton. And at the buzzer was the, they're going to say shot clock violation. I think the shot was blocked as well. So good defensive effort there by the Eagles of Midway. With 16.8 to go in the first half, down 19. Yeah, I really thought Blanton had a better shot there when he got the uh, first opportunity on the basket. Ended up throwing it outside. Since that 26-4 run, Midway has won the game by three points. Looking to add to it. Dribbling down to six seconds, hunting for a shot. Baseline they go to Tate at the buzzer. Got it! Another one by Tate. So Tate has eight. Miller has 11. Evans has 16. And it is down to 17 as the two teams head for the locker rooms. Eastern Kentucky 55, Midway 38, 20 through it on ESPN+. Plus. Finding your new favorite spot. Peace of. You know you really have to try this kick. Wow. Get exclusive access to sought after restaurants. One of the many reasons you're with Amex Platinum. Vivid Seats. Your ticket to more tickets. So tell your friends you'll buy because every 10 tickets earns your reward credit for next time. Earn rewards with every purchase. Vivid Seats. Life happens live. What a wonderful day. All the luck in the world for me. That's the way I do it. Nothing to it. Wonderful day. At BK, the Italian original chicken is back and in the two for six. Thanks to Pete Newbacher, crispy chicken, marinara sauce, and melty mozzarella. Because of him. For Pete's sake, the Italian original chicken sandwich is back in the two for six. Pete's way, way better. I told you I was going to win. With Windows 11, gaming performs to another level. Let's go! And when it comes to streaming movies, we haven't really experienced any buffering. It's so cool that we'll have access to movie theater level quality pretty much anywhere. Seeing it load up that quick, I was genuinely surprised. I can't believe there's no lag. I didn't realize how bad you were until I got these really good graphics. <laughs> And the blowout continues. Breaks the tackle, now an Allen. He will score. Touchdown.
2022 Mitsubishi Outlander. Unwrap our lowest price at the year-end sales event. Get Thunderstruck. We welcome you back to Alumni Coliseum in Richmond as Eastern Kentucky leads Midway 55-38. Interesting totals here, Doug. In the first five minutes, 14 seconds, EKU led this game 26-14. So in just over five minutes, they scored 26. In the last 14 minutes, 46 seconds, they scored 29. Get outdone 34-29 by Midway University. So good recovery from Midway, a huge underdog here tonight after they were blitzed in the first five plus. I think uh, some of that was due to their offensive confidence. It carried over to their defense. Midway started getting some uh, better shots. They started beating Eastern on some dribble penetrations. And then they hit some really tough shots too. And uh, I, I think that confidence kind of built. And then Eastern maybe got a little bit uh, quick on the draw on the other end and took some shots a little early in their offense and uh, gave Midway just a little bit of daylight there. and. Midway took advantage of it. You can see why they can be good in the River States Conference because Evans and Miller can fiddle it up. The, between them, they average 40 a game. 14 by, make it 16 by Evans in the first half. 11 by Miller, 8 by Tate. Beverly had a good shooting first half for Eastern Kentucky, but it was feast or famine for the Curdles from three. They opened five of six, then they went one of nine, then they went four for four. And when that ball moves and you share, that's where the threes came, as we said, during one stretch of the first half. Right, they insured ended up with 17 assists in the first half. Excellent job of, of moving the ball for the most part and, and uh, shot 12 for 24 from the three line. So, uh, you know, they had, they had some good things going offensively. They just need to keep with that, uh, uh, like you said, sharing the ball. All right, so coming up next here on the Coca-Cola Zero Sugar Halftime Report, all the numbers from the first half will break down the statistics. EKU leads Midway. 55, 38, 23. As a professional bull rider, I'm used to taking chances. But when it comes to my insurance, I don't. I use Liberty Mutual. They customize your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. And by switching, you can even save $665. Hey, Tex. Can someone else get a turn? Yeah, hang on. I'm about to break my own record. Yeah! Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. And the blowout continues. Breaks the tackle, now with Allen. He will score. Touchdown. What is your name? Stanton Carlisle. Oh, you're a travel agent. Nightmare Rally is nominated for eight Critics' Choice Awards, including Best Director Guillermo del Toro. You don't fool people, Stan. And Best Picture of the Year. They fool themselves. Nightmare Rally. Rated R. Only in theaters Friday. I'm originally from Hawaii, but I moved to Wisconsin just last year. I decided to get a bike because the car was too expensive. We both work at Chick-fil-A. She would bike to work every day. And then winter hit, and that was pretty rough. So there was a holiday raffle, and they were giving away a car there. Her name got called, and I was like... <laughs> she decided to give the car to me. Chick-fil-A feels like one big family. Helping you or just like any of my coworkers always brings joy. It's crazy to say, like, I gave my best friend a car. What makes my neighborhood great? The folk, the people, always finding a way. There's a lot of talent in these streets, all grinding for an opportunity. The court is where we push each other to grow, where lessons are taught. Because when we lift each other up here, we all get better everywhere. And that's how you change the game for good. I said that's me. Here we go, here we go, here we go. the bus. All right, I got you. Success is cherishing every important connection. Hey, babe. Hey. Uh, did he miss the bus? Yeah, but I was hoping he would. The Lexus LS, designed to put your humanity first. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. This is your living room slash yoga shanti slash regional office slash and this is the basement slash panic room maybe what your family needs is a vacation home slash vacation home find yours on the verbo app 
Target makes last-minute gifting easier. Shop with same-day delivery, free order pickup, or free drive-up, and leave with your list wrapped up. Order today, get it today at Target. Here at halftime in Richmond, Eastern Kentucky, 55, Midway University, 38. Here are your halftime statistics brought to you by Geneva Financial. EKU, 19 of 45, just 7 of 21 on two-pointers. But they are 12 of 24 on three-pointers, and it has been super hot and super cold. Here's the breakdown. Hitting five of your first six, then missing eight of your next nine, then hitting six of your next seven, and then missing your last two of the half. So it has been red hot or off target for Eastern Kentucky from three. They're five of seven from the foul line. Midway, after a slow start, at one time they were five of 18. They went 10 of 15 the rest of the way in the first half as I charted it, and five of nine from three, three of three from the foul line. They have been out-rebounded by Eastern Kentucky 29 to 15, and Eastern Kentucky has forced 10 turnovers, made only seven. Colonels have assisted on 17 of their 19 shots, seven of their 15 makes. Individually, 18 officially by Raekwon Evans. I had listed him at 16, correct that. It's 18, and Donnie Miller here at halftime has a total of 12. They come in averaging collectively between them 40 a game. They're at 28 right now at halftime and another good effort by Rico Tate in the first half. He had eight. They've only had three players score for Eastern Kentucky, two in double digits. Jansen Williams leads Eastern Kentucky with 14 at intermission. Braxton Beverly has a total of 12 points at halftime. You're looking at the team statistics, but giving you individuals now a uh, total of six each for Cooper Robb and Tariq Balligan, and five each for Kurt Lewis and Michael Moreno. But more importantly, Doug, the rebounding by committee tonight. Six by uh, Cooper Robb, five rebounds by Blanton and Moreno, four by Lewis, and three each by Williams and Brown on the other side. Five rebounds for Evans, five, and then four by Miller. So really, Miller and Evans have done it all for them, scoring and rebounding. But I know A.W. Hamilton wanted to see his team rebound, and they've done that well here in the first half after getting out rebounded by 18 and a half on average the last two games. Currently, they're plus 14 here at halftime. You know, he talked in the in the pregame about uh, being on the offensive boards, and you know, if you're going to miss shots, at least try to give yourself second uh, chance opportunities. And Eastern has done that; they've done a good job going to the glass on both ends and uh, taking advantage of a little. Uh, size, so uh, that's something that they have corrected. Those are the Geneva Financial Halftime Statistics. Geneva Financial, human-friendly home buying. Contact Alex Milburn in the Lexington office for your rate quote. When we return, second half takeout, it's Eastern Kentucky, 55. Discover card. I just got my cash back match. Is this for real? Yep. We match all the cash back new card members earn at the end of their first year. Automatically. Woo, I got my money. Sorry to contain yourself, isn't it? Uh-huh. Well, let it go. Get a dollar for dollar match at the end of your first year, only from Discover. As a small business owner, efficient equipment is essential to operating your business. SoCal Gas is here to help with a variety of energy saving rebates, like up to $1,000 off tankless hot water heaters. Visit SoCalGas.com slash business rebates. The holidays are at Raising Cane's, and so is the Peanuts game. I have a long list of presents that I want. Like cook-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce? How about Peanuts gift cards and plush puppies that benefit pet organizations? Isn't he the cutest thing? Happy holidays from Raising Cane's. One love. What is your name? Stanton Carlisle. Oh, you're a travel agent. Nightmare Rally is nominated for eight Critics' Choice Awards, including Best Director Guillermo del Toro. You don't fool people, Stan. And Best Picture of the Year. They fool themselves. Nightmare Alley. Rated R. Only in theaters Friday. For me? You shouldn't have. And there's more where that came from. No kidding. It's everything you wish for, including the price. This is your living room slash yoga shanti slash regional office slash and this is the basement slash panic room. Maybe what your family needs is a vacation home slash vacation home. 
Find yours on the Verbo app. It's happy Honda days, boys and girls. We gave a Yeti luscious curls. Helped the little band make their own merch and cleared out Santa's online search. I just typed who's naughty. And we can help you too. Right now, you can get 0% APR financing on an award winning Honda SUV like the 2022 HRV. Happy Honda Days. This is your home. This is your family room, slash gym. The guest bedroom, slash music studio. The day bed, slash dog bed. The living room, slash yoga shanti, slash regional office. How did you guys do it? Slash classroom. <laughs> And this is the basement slash panic room. Maybe what your family needs is a vacation home slash vacation home. Find yours on the Verbo app. You want a great team? You got to build it piece by piece. Start with a few natural born leaders. Old vets have seen it all. And a few youngsters just getting started. Those with chips on their shoulders and ice in their veins. You find a cast of characters like that, you've got yourself one hell of a team. We welcome you back to Alumni Coliseum at Richmond, Kentucky, 55-38 Eastern Kentucky. Shooting red hot at halftime, 12 of 24. Threes for a cause presented by Central Bank is connected Central Bank, EKU, local nonprofits to give back to Madison Kelly. Each game, Central Bank will make a donation to a local nonprofit organization for every three-point shot made during the game by the Colonels. The halftime total for Eastern Kentucky breaking the bank tonight. 12-3, Central Bank, member FDIC. You look at this team, 19 of 45 between Brown and Lewis. They're three of 15. The rest of the team, 16 of 30. And it's been the three ball that's fallen, 12 of 24 for the rest of the night. Eastern Kentucky is 7 of 21 on two pointers. And you got to get a lot of credit to a team, Doug, in Midway University coming out of NAIA. And they're down 26 to 4. And we've played four, five minutes and 14 seconds. It's 26 to 4. From that point on, the last 14 minutes, 46 seconds of the first half, midway one, 34 to 29. That's a good response for uh, the Eagles, coached by Joe Krapinski in his sixth year. Well, it sure is. And, you know, guys that play on a team like Midway, and they come into a Division I uh, gymnasium or arena, and they've kind of got a little chip on their shoulder, and they want to see what they can do against another level of competition. And, you know, they've answered the bell. Pat Blake had the scout in Eastern Kentucky who was a manager at the University of Louisville, head coach in the junior college ranks down in Florida as well. He said Raekwon Evans has that Division I level, and we've seen it from Donnie Miller as well. Miller with three threes, Evans with two. Evans in the first half, 7 of 12, and Miller 4 of 10, 3 of 5 on threes officially. So they're going to start Crookshank. The clock does not run, and the official notices it. Michael Terry, Damon Williams, and Jesse Joseph tonight. Also giving Wardy a start here the second half, too. He didn't play in the first half. So Michael Wardy, who played at Peru State and then went to a junior college, Southeast Community College, out of Lincoln, Nebraska, Norris High School. Crookshank starting as well. So you've got two players on the court who didn't start the ball game in Crookshank and Wardy. Blanton, Rob, and Moreno did start. And here we go. Four seconds now taken off the clock. And away we go to the second half. 55 38 Eastern Kentucky. Biggest lead was at 22. Crookshank, good defense there by Miller, head of the key. Crookshank hooks it over his ear to Rob, steps it to the left for a three, and goodbye, Rob. Second time he's got a three-pointer off after a shot fake. Got his feet set. Really good job of uh, squaring up right there. He has only hit two shots tonight. He's only taken two. Wardy off the miss. Defensive rebound. 
through Crookshank to Blanton. Knife's through two tough shot, and without a bank, he looped it up and in. Blanton, his first field goal, third point. <laughs> Eastern Kentucky ups the lead to 60 to 38. And stole it there and put it in. Eastern really denying the ball inbounds to get into this press. 62-38, deep three, Moreno. Curry land, good by Moreno. And after an 11-0 start to the game, Eastern Kentucky bolts out of the locker room and rips and runs to a 65-58 lead as they've scored 10 in a row, their second double-figure run to begin the game here in each half. I just got my cash back match. Is this for real? Yep. We match all the cash back new card members earn at the end of their first year. Automatically. Woo, I got my money. Sorry to contain yourself, isn't it? Uh-huh. Well, let it go. Woo. Get a dollar for dollar match at the end of your first year, only from Discover. Come on in. This Friday, experience Guillermo del Toro's Nightmare Alley. It's one of the best films of the year <laughs> with the most unforgettable ending in decades. Sometimes you don't see the line until you cross it. Nightmare Alley, rated R. Only in theaters Friday. There's cheese on a burger, and then there's cheese on a cheeseburger. Too much? <laughs> nah. Don't miss the Red Robin Cheese Lovers lineup. Red Robin. Yum. A mountain of toys to fulfill many wishes must be carried across all roads and all bridges. It's not magic that makes more holiday deliveries to homes in the U.S. than anyone else. It's the hardworking people of the United States Postal Service. And the blowout continues. It's another touchdown. What a huge play at this point in the game. Breaks the tackle now with Allen. Fighting through it. He's got space. He will score. Touchdown. This... This is your family room, slash gym. The guest bedroom, slash music studio. The day bed, slash dog bed. The living room, slash yoga shanti, slash regional office. How did you guys do it? Slash classroom. And this is the basement, slash panic room. Maybe what your family needs is a vacation home, slash vacation home. Find yours on the Verbo app. With a run here. It'll be Moreno, Blanton, Rob, Crookshank, and Wardy, the way they started the second half. The trigger will be Tate. They've got a trap on Travis, who hadn't scored, but he got it back to Tate, and they run it up fourth court to Miller. Skip pass over to the player who has not scored and still has it. Travis had a rebound pulled down by Moreno. His sixth of the night to equal Rob, and Moreno another deep three, and this one no good. Blanton off out to Crookshank. The lefty will try it and... Strip the cord, Crookshank gets into the score book. Another example, offensive rebound, kick out, step right into a three. Biggest run of the night, 13-0. They've had a pair of double-figure runs here. Here's a follow-away shot from 17. Won't go for Raekwon Evans. So two tough starts to each half have doomed the Eagles tonight. They trail by 30 now as Crookshank flips it over his ear to Wardy, who dunks more than he shoots. As Wardy is now dunked on 11 of his 19 makes this year. He is now going to have three dunks in the first half. And Crookshank tips the ball out of bounds. It rolled, he thought, off the leg of Travis. But the official said no. 15-0 Eastern Kentucky lead in the half. Just underway. We've played just two minutes and four seconds. Well, if you haven't seen Eastern play this year, they're not trying to run up a score or anything like that. This is the way they play 40 minutes. They get after you full court. And a 10-second violation to begin the second half here. Our stat monitor has gone on the fritz, and so can't update the numbers here in the second half. But suffice it to say, Doug, how well is Eastern Kentucky shot in the second half? Second half right now, they are 6 for 7, 85.7%. Three out of four from the three-point line. Into Moreno, hand back to Crookshank. So an interesting this one, no good. In the second half, resting rebound. Williams and Beverly. Crookshank. The lefty Kentucky Kentucky coming in, in, in here on Saturday. Northern on rest. Blanton turning around, shot off the rim twice, no good. And then 
A player got knocked down, Tate, and it's going to be called on Eastern Kentucky. And they're going to call it on Blanton after he missed the shot, coming back and pushing his first foul. You know, I love that foul, though, because Blanton really attacked the glass when that ball was up on the rim. And, you know, he just got a little bit too aggressive, made some contact, but you can live with that. Eastern open six of the first seven. They only missed Moreno, then that Blanton miss. Leaving his feet, but getting a pass off, and then Wardy stole it. That pass, Travis intended Tate, Wardy to Blanton. Blanton will shoot. Looked like his foot was on the line, but they say no. We're going to look at that yeah. again. And I think oh. it's going to be a two. Look that again. Yeah, put it on the board is three. That will be 18 in a row. It stands for Blanton. I looked at it live, and I don't think it was a three. Here comes pass off, and then Wardy stole it. Follow that pass, Travis intended Tate, going. Wardy to Blanton. Blanton will shoot. Number two. Look like they are 0 for 4 are the Eagles. Blanton will try a three. He was behind the line this time and barely grazed the rim. Good hustle, Wardy. Second game in a row, Doug Sally has made a catch. Good hands there, Doug. Yeah, it's, I still got it. <laughs> the only place you got it's from the foul line. <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> you could, right. You you're and right I couldn't on that. get up and down I, the court for a couple of minutes. I could catch the ball and shoot free throw. That's about it. Right now it's 73-38, and here's a foul by Moreno. That will allow the officials to go to the monitor here. If they do, they have it yet. So right now it is a... 18-0 start to the second half for Eastern Kentucky. The biggest spurt unanswered. This matches it because they scored 18 against Ohio Valley back in November. Ohio Valley University, same conference. Brown a good tip away. And then, then the ball went out of bounds. Last touch by Brown. It's 11 in white. Collided with 11 in blue and Tate. And it certainly looked to Brown as though it went off Tate. I thought Brown made a good steal and just got undercut after after he uh, was trying to make the attempt on the ball. 73-38 Eastern Kentucky. 29-0 advantage when you start each half. Here's the fall away in the first bucket of the night for Ricardo Travis to stop the Eastern Kentucky run that mounted up to the 16-35 mark of 18-0. And it's 73-41 now. After Eastern Kentucky went up by 35, Brown comes in, flips it as he drew the harm down the right side of the lane over his ear. No good, but he'll go to the line for two. Well, he turned the corner right there after the handback and went into the lane, made a nice dribble move to the right side, and he's got the body contact, able to get it up on the rim so he can go to the line for the two. Eastern Kentucky got up 10 shots, hit seven to begin this half. And before that make there by Travis, a three. There had been four misses and a bunch of turnovers in half number two for Midway. They made 14 on the game, EKU eight. Brown has been a tremendous foul shooter as he hits them both. He's up to eight on the day as Brown has been spot on from the foul line this year. Now double figures in makes it a row. School record 29 in a row. Nice pass. Sims had his shot blocked by Wardy with help by Rob. Sims didn't start the second half. Beautiful pass by Miller to him, but the defense strong and Wardy giving EKU good minutes here as you watch it. Now Cooper Rob rotated down lane there and made a nice cap of that shot. It was actually Rob with the block, his fifth of the year, and the inbounds getting loose of Curtles and putting it in is Raquan Evans, and he's to 20 points tonight for the fifth time on the year. 20 for Raquan Evans out of Valley in Louisville. 75-43 EKU, baseline 10-footer, no good for Blanton. Down the right side, Travis up top. They go to Tate, his three good. This team, when they get good looks, can shoot, can't they? Yeah, they sure can. Blanton a little bit late on that contest right there. Didn't come out strong. 35-point lead. It's been trimmed down to 29. Crookshank gets it back. Step back three, Crookshank. Good. Pair of threes this half for EKU. They're zooming towards what could be a school record. They're 17 of 31 from three. That ball goes off the foot of the dribbler, Miller. Crookshank dives in for the jump ball. Possession arrow will go to EKU. Turnover number 15 of the night as we go to break with 15-17 to go. 78-46 EKU on ESPN+. Plus. Whoa, 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 before you do that, 
Are they gonna go where's your look gas at that line? Thing now? And where's your wallet? Because you hit a gas line and it's going to cost you. Not to mention that it's also very dangerous. Okay, where's your phone? Good. Now call 811 before you dig. One call, and you'll know where to dig every time. So, no problems, no fine. And, uh, oh, it's the law. Hey, that comes to a dollar forty-five. I'm sorry? Oh yeah, for the cookie. The books are free. For everybody? For all undergraduate students. We call it EKU Booksmart. Let's make that two cookies. On campus, online, delivery or pickup at EKU. The books are on us. You can be healthy. You can eat right. You can even have good genes. But with cancer, there may be other risk factors you should know. So take an online assessment from Baptist Health, which can tell you your risk, lead to early detection, or simply peace of mind. It's world-class care even before you need it. Hey, honey, what are you looking at? Unbelievable. I don't even know why I'm still here. Excuse me? It's like there's not even any interest anymore. What? We could be getting great rates on a home loan from Geneva Financial. And it's 73-41 now. After Easter, Kentucky oh. went up by third. Thinking about moving? Visit us online today. Get rates from the high twos from Geneva Financial. Well, the officials have come over, Doug, and said it was close, but it was a three by Blanton off the left wing, so they are now 17 of 31. That's at 66.7% in the first half, 71.4% in the second half of play. Well, that's 66 is what they've shot from the field, 71-4 from three. And it's 54.8 for the game from three. But really hot here in the second half. Midway gone zone right here, looks like a little 1-2-2. Brown who's come in. Lewis, ball tipped away. Lewis not crisp with that pass, good hands there in the passing lane. And Eastern Kentucky turns it over for the ninth time. They force 15, here's a good look at a three. Off the wing right, no good by Travis. Got his first points earlier when they broke that scoring drought with EKU opened with an 18-0 run to build the lead from 17 to 35 to start the second half. Rob penetrates down the paint to a sliding stop in trouble, and he gets tied up as he fouled. Yes, got it tackled there on National Football Signing Day. Good tackle by Evans. Eastern Kentucky, by the Rob way, penetrates down the paint to a sliding East stop today, in trouble, and he Australian gets tied up as he fouled. Yes, got it tackled there the the road, on National KU Football Signing Barry, Day. Uh, the first of the Aussies, he's now punting for Minnesota after six years with Pittsburgh. Here's Lewis to the baseline. Wanted to give it off to Brown, now does. Brown slides a dribble to the Foul line, oh, good change of pace and then missed the layup. But Wardy, the rebound back up. He missed it inside. Kicks out near Lewis, but into the hands of Miller, and here come the Eagles. Miller crossover into the body of Rob, and a reach on Rob on the drive, speeding down court by Donnie Miller. Miller's really aggressive when he gets the ball in the open court, and here he is taking that ball right to Rob, and Cooper Rob just didn't get his feet set enough, I guess, for the official to uh, call the charge. Second foul on Rob. Three on the Curdles, two on the Eagles here in this half as we near the 14-minute mark. And Miller, who had 12 at halftime, adds to his total. He has a Baker's dozen now. He averaged 19 in his high school senior year at a Newport High School up in the Cincinnati area. Hit them both. This is a team with two graduate students on it in Travis and Evans. 78-48, lead went to 35, it's down to 30 now, Brown left wing. School record for made threes is 20, they sit at 17 right now. Most threes taken, 45 at a game, was set this year. Lewis knifes to the goal and then misses the inside shot. Balligan for a moment had a hand on the rebound, but Miller rips it away from him. Again, Lewis just struggling to finish at the rim here. 
Trying to do it on the defensive end. Sims, left wing Travis. Travis, step back, left wing three, air ball. Balligan knows that, just lets it go out of bounds. Down to 13-25 in the game, 78-48. Eastern Kentucky has been 23 days without a win. Had to go to USC in West Virginia, Western Kentucky, Radford in a home game. They lost to Marshall, A.W. Hamilton's alma mater. Crookshank finds Brown, camping right, flat, three, good. Crookshank, another assist. That is his fifth of the night, five assists by Moreno, and four as well by Blanton. Full court pressure, 81-74 Eastern Kentucky. As Brown goes double figures now, at a three the other way, good by Evans. He has 23, and he has been their best player tonight. Lewis skip pass to the near side, Rob. Pogo stick up to get it. Balligan working down outside the block left. Back to Cooper for good look at three as he drew two defenders at Eastern Kentucky. One three away from tying the school record. Rob has a four for four night going from three. 84-51 Eastern Kentucky. Underneath 12 and a half minutes. Here's Evans. Evans, pogo stick dribbling with a jab step and tried to throw it across court and threw it away. Intended target is Travis. Well, Midway's been mixing up their defense. They've shown this little one, two, two, uh, about a three quarter court trap, and then they've gone back into a one, two, two zone. Right now, they've gone back man to man, though. Kirchhank looking for a screen, get it from Balligan, pick and roll to him, deflected away, and then good hustle for Kirchhank to get it back. Step back to tie the school record, and there it is, the 20th three of the night. As Kirchhank hits another one, he's had a good second half, getting a start here in the second half. And we have a timeout with 12 Balligan minutes to go in the game. working down outside the block left. Eastern Kentucky, Back to Cooper for good look at three as he drew two they have defenders. At Eastern Kentucky, one three away. Three-point line here on ESPN+. Plus. I came across this house with water dripping from the ceiling. You never know when something like this will happen. So let the Geico Insurance Agency help you with homeowners insurance. Now, if I had to guess, I'd say somewhere upstairs there's a broken pipe. Bundle and save even more at geico.com. Tickets on sale now. Dude! Catch! Tickets on sale now. Dude! Tickets on sale now. Dude! 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 Exclusively in movie theaters. Meet Temple. The home gym with a built-in personal trainer. Tempo helps you maximize every workout with custom plans and real-time feedback on your form. Powered by 3D Vision, Tempo is the interactive technology that trains you with thousands of workouts, including strength training to cardio, yoga, boxing, and more. Get ready to discover what you're truly capable of. Tempo, find your strength. I'm going to play outside. Be back before. Before it's dark, I know. Experience amazing. I used to feel tired all the time. I had no idea low iron levels could be causing my low energy. I tried some iron supplements, but they had awful side effects. When I tried Blood Builder by Mega Food, I felt a big difference. I have energy to do the things I love again. It's gentle on my stomach, and I don't get the usual side effects. Plus, it combines key nutrients with real food. If you're struggling with low energy, you've got to try Blood Builder by Mega Food. It changed my life. Maybe it could change yours. It's back to Alumni Coliseum in Richmond. 12 minutes left in the game. Eastern Kentucky leading 87-51. Scored 18 unanswered in the first 242 of the second half to blow this one out. They began 26-4 in the first five minutes, 14 seconds of the first half. So good starts out of the gate. Like a Usain Bolt sprinting effort here tonight for Eastern Kentucky. Sims to the baseline. The son of Alvin Sims 
Played at the University of Louisville, then in the CBA, the CBA Rookie of the Year, and then overseas in six different nations. That one deflected away by Lewis and running out of room for turnover. Number 18 of the night was Travis. Ricardo Travis has struggled tonight. Yeah, Eastern's done a good job on him. They had excellent ball pressure on that defensive possession right there. Really set out and played hard. Eastern Kentucky's assisted on 22 of their 30 shots tonight. Jackson in. Looks like they're going to rest Williams and Beverly the entire second half. Northern Kentucky in here on Saturday. Lewis wing three. Couldn't get it to drop. Balligan hustles for the rebound, but not strong enough to get it away from Evans, who muscled it away from him. Good Euro around Crookshank, and zero and blue goes by zero and white, and Evans up to 25 to lead all scores. There's an alley-oop intended for Balligan. Wasn't even close. They were not on the same page. They weren't even in the same chapter there. Good drive to the right side. Cut off by Lewis. Miller tried to find something. Now to Gardner. Down the lane. And from 10 won't go. Jackson, the freshman from Lexington, the rebound. Got a break here. There's the alley-oop. And then a miss lay in by Balligan. Another cup miss for an Eastern Kentucky team. And here's a steal by Crookshank in transition. Crookshank to Lewis, over to Balligan. He'll stuff it this time for the fourth dunk of the night. And Balligan, all eight of his points have come on dunks. He's up to 30 career dunks, and it's 89 to 53. Eastern Kentucky back up by 36. Timeout called to Joe Kropinski in year six. Coaching one year as he came out of the Northeast to St. Catherine College, then they shut that college down. Six years head coach at Linden State, seven years an assistant at St. Michael's College, two at RPI up in Rochester, New York, two years at Springfield College, where he was a student assistant for four years. You've been to Springfield, Massachusetts? Yeah, I made that a point to go there when my wife and I went there a couple years ago and uh, did a tour of New England, and uh, that was my bucket list thing right there. I got in there. My wife had to run me out after about three hours. It was really interesting. If you're a basketball fanatic, you need to go to Springfield. College Basketball Hall of Fame there. Easter Kentucky, second half, shooting 57% at 8 of 11 on threes and half two. Began this game red hot as well. Here's Jackson with a steal. Another turnover. Jackson. Step back three for the school record. Missed it. He'll have to earn him from the foul line as he is knocked down on a closeout there by T.J. O'Connor out of Miami, Florida, who just came into the game, the sport management major. As you'll look at Jackson here finding the three with a step back. Uh, he stepped back, and uh, O'Connor just came a little bit late and uh, ran into him, didn't let him come down after his shot. So you're still in the act of shooting until you land on the floor. 25 by Evans to lead all scores. He's for Midway. Most points scored in a game this year by a Midway player was Evans with 45, and he has 25 here at halftime, here uh, at the 10-14 mark of the second half. Miller, their leading scorer of the year, is at 14 right now. And Jackson, it's the sixth time a Colonel has been fouled shooting a three. And all five times before this, only two of three made. But Jackson stops that as he got all three. And it's 92-53 EKU. Colonel's eight points away with 10 minutes to go from the ninth plus 100 game. And another tip away by Brown with quick hands. Jackson had it. We'll see if they're going to say it was tipped out of his hands or if we'll go back to midway. Looks like it's going to go back to the Eagles in the inbounds from Gardner. Wherever the ball is, you'll find Jamaru Brown. He's so active defensively. Had e six steals in the last game. EKU's turned over the Eagles 20 times. This is O'Connor. Up to their leading scorer in the year, Miller. At 14 tonight and a hand check foul on Jackson. A little bit more on Deshaun Jackson. Frederick Douglass High School. Good luck at him there. Averaged over 21 and seven and a half rebounds in high school. As you see him digging defensively and a little hand check foul there. Four fouls on the Curtles, three on the Eagles. We go under 10 minutes. Down the lane goes Moore. Warney got the block. Crookshank, oh, nice. No look to Brown for the lay-in. Crookshank's had assist after assist tonight. 
He's had four steals he's had and six assists. Assist after assisted right on. He was going when he got that ball. Brown was looking off. at right. And a near steal at half court as the Colonels kind of trying to double up midway as they get tired here late with 9.39 to go. They lost by 50 the other night at Bellarmine on it was actually a Sunday afternoon game, and they're down 94-53 here. One, two, three, four curdles in double figures. Beverly with 12, his night done in the first half. Williams 14, his night done. They're trying to rest guys with back, knee, and ankle injuries. 12 by Rob. Brown just scored his 13th. Crookshank sitting at nine. Blanton and Moreno at eight, along with Balligan. All dunks for Balligan. Here's a drive by Moore into the lane. Hit the bottom of the net, and Wardy clears up the rebound. Here comes Crookshank, eyes up to Blanton. Blanton back to Jackson, extra share, Brown, three, good. New school record with that three by Brown. 21 threes made, 21 of 36. Gardner the other way, scoops it through three, Curtle scores, and he drew the foul with 9.03 to go. Nice unselfish play down here by Jackson on the other end. Could have taken that three, made the extra pass to Brown in the corner. Jamaru's hit the basket pretty regular tonight from that three-point line. Now Jamaru Brown, four for seven from three. Crookshank, three of four. Rob, four for four. Williams, two for five. Moreno, two for four. Blanton, one for three. Beverly, four for four. Just Kurt Lewis has struggled tonight, one for five, and Blanton, one for three. Basket good. And then the and one good as well by Gardner for his first three points of the night. Blanton from 10, got hacked on the arm, actually the wrist by Raekwon Evans. Yeah, he really did a good job going after the ball right there, but on the follow through, just got contact with the wrist. You'll see it right here on the replay. Blanton unable to finish his shot before the contact. EKU 97.56 leader, you know what happened February 4th, 1952, Doug? Mm, does that have anything to do with the Korean War? No, <laughs> has to do with century mark as the Curdles are two points away from it. As Blanton hits the foul shot, he has nine, eight of them this half, and welcome to double figure land, fourth Curdle to get there for Tay Tay Blanton out of Macedonia, Ohio, 99-56. February 4th, 1952 against Tampa. EKU cracked the century mark for the first time. Good fly to the goal by Evans, and he just continues to add his point total, 27. Crookshank for 100 and plus, and he hit it. The Shark Crookshanks had a big game. 102 56 EKU, make it 102 58. School record 22, and a ninth time they've been over 100 in A.W. Hamilton's coaching career of four years. That shot goes over the backboard as we document 102 58 Eastern Kentucky. Midway's not bashful about putting it up either, and, and that plays right into Eastern's hands because they love to play fast. Eastern Kentucky is 89-1 and one when they go over 100. It's going to be 90 wins and one loss after tonight. With eight minutes still to go, 102-58. Wardy backing down the defender. Nice turn by Wardy, and he scores. I've really been impressed the way Michael Wardy has joined this program and given 